Cozy wife, cozy life. <laughs> Can we make our own questions? My name is Ryan Lovelace. I have trouble defining myself, but on a daily basis, I build surfboards, surf as much as possible, not enough, take care of my new wife and uh, my little brown dog. <laughs> design activewear and textiles, build station projects, clothing projects. This bus I found on Craigslist and when I saw it, I wasn't in the country, but I came home and did everything I could to make it mine. And I didn't know exactly what the plan was, but I knew that I couldn't not play with this thing. I was always really into photography when I was a kid growing up in Seattle. Even more so obsessed with surfing, and, and I think that the distance from being away from surfing and seeing it from a distance and only being able to access it once or twice a year. And Santa Barbara offered a lot of options for both of those two avenues that I wanted to take. I realized at some point, after a couple years here, that, that if I could make a living here and stay here and continue to live here, while working for myself and especially within building surfboards, then I probably lucked into the best case scenario. I asked a friend of mine in Bali uh, what animal he would want to come back as, and he said that he wanted to come back as a dog in America. As simple as that answer sounded, I always kind of really respected it because um, I think that's a pretty good existence, but also always had a fondness for penguins for some reason. <laughs> when everything else is boiled down and I can just make surfboards is, is definitely the, the moment where I feel like I finally have everything together and, and everything is kind of gone. And something that's designed consciously is really important to me because I think people forget about that with products so much. I don't generally get scared to show people what I'm up to. I like to bring people in and share the process, either refine it or tune it or or explain it better to people to get the understanding, but I, I think that's something that's sorely lacking these days. So I think sharing is actually really key to being creative, especially if you're doing it as a profession. I spend so, so much of my time, quote, uncomfortable, covered in dust, uh, covered in resin, contaminated workspaces, and toxic environment. There's like two moments that I consider that, are, that have that switch, and it's after working and then after surfing. Go down to Raycon. I really just love sunset surfs. And you've kind of accomplished your day. After surfing, I get out a little while before sunset. Katie ends up staying in until well past dark. So I spend a lot of time um, huddled up on the beach, waiting <laughs> and watching Katie get a ton of waves. Mm -hmm.